Yesterday I did a very well received video, again following up with some new features we have in firmware 3.5 for our Line 6 Helix and HX Stomp. It was called Hidden Gems. It's a video I like to do to kind of explore some of the maybe not so obvious features of a new firmware update. One thing I did not expect at all was for one particular question to come up over and over again. I received a whole pile of questions concerning one particular thing I talked about. Now, anybody who hasn't watched yesterday's video, I was talking about the ability to now disable snapshots control over our parameters. It was a new feature added in firmware 3.5. A lot of folks said, wow, I didn't realize I was there. That's going to be really handy. Some folks said, that's cool, but I don't really need that. And the number one thing I heard from folks was this. That's all fine and dandy, but I would love the ability for snapshots not to be controlling my bypass state of my effects block that I put in. And also, when I put an effects block in, it's in on all my snapshots and I don't necessarily want it engaged. I want it bypassed and then I gotta go through each snapshot and turn it off and whatnot. Well, there's very easy solutions to this and this has actually existed for quite some time in our Helix and I think it's a feature that has been flying under the radar a lot of folks don't realize so today's video is going to be about that so I really do think this is one of the most important videos you can watch if you use snapshots there's going to be a couple tips here that may save you a lot of time and may actually allow you to do things that you didn't know were possible when utilizing snapshots on your helix or hx stomp without further ado let's figure this all out and head over to hx edit all right, so here we are over in HX Edit, and you'll notice I have this little preset, same one I used yesterday, actually, uh, but I renamed it Snapshot Bypass Control. So here is a possible scenario that we would want this feature, and let's just go through this systematically. So let's say that I wanted to add a boost to my preset. I have a preset here that has four snapshots going from clean to kind of edge of breakup, or what I call push, overdrive, and lead. All right, let's say I just wanted to add a boost, though, to the front of the amp. I'll come over to my distortion block, and let's just pick our kinky boost. We'll turn these on. The settings don't matter for this video. So now that I've put that on, something interesting is going to happen. As I go through my snapshots and watch up here as they change, you'll notice now that that boost is engaged for all four of my snapshots. Now, if I turn it off on the clean, you'll notice that as I go through my other snapshots, it's still turned on. Now, that's a real pain in the rear end for a lot of folks. And I've had this question a lot after doing the video that I did yesterday. Uh, we'll talk about how we can fix that very easily in just a second. But let's say that we don't want this to be assigned to any, you know, on and off state for any particular snapshot. See, I've turned it off on my snapshot one, it's off, snapshot four, it's off. It's still on for snapshot two and snapshot three. So snapshots are controlling the bypass state of this particular block. So, you know, if I come along and assign this now to a foot switch, let's say foot switch seven, and I, you know, want to engage this at times, I can now turn it on and off, but you notice I have it off here. Then I go back to push and it's back on because that was the last state it was in. You know, I go back to my overdrive and it's off again. Let's say I just wanted to be able to engage that whenever I wanted without snapshots affecting it at all. Very, very simple. We right click on it. And if you notice down here, there's a menu selection that says snapshot bypass and it has a check mark beside it. So the snapshots are controlling the bypass state of this effects block right now. If I click that, and we'll just go back to the menu. Notice the check mark is gone now. The bypass state will not be controlled by snapshots now. And you'll notice as I go through here, it is just disengaged for all of these snapshots. If I turn it on on one snapshot, it's now going to be on on all of them. So the snapshots are no longer controlling the bypass state of that effects block. I can now just use my foot switch to engage and disengage it. When I do disengage it, it's off for all 
of my snapshots. Now, this may or may not be a behavior you want. That's not the point of this. The point is knowing that it's there and many, many folks, judging by the questions that I've received, didn't know that this ability was there. Now, we can do this in HX Edit, but is there also a way to maybe potentially do it right from our hardware unit itself? And of course there is. If we look over at the release notes from firmware 2.8, and yes, that's how far back this goes, it says here there may be situations where you don't want Helix snapshots to control a particular block's bypass state. That is, you'd prefer to turn it on and off manually. For example, you may want manual control of a boost pedal at any time without worrying whether a particular snapshot might turn it on or off. So that's exactly the example I just used. Well, it says, depending on your type of Helix HX product, follow the procedures below. So on the Helix Floor Rack or LT, select a block, press action, and set knob five snapshot bypass to off to disable snapshot control of that block's bypass state. For HX effects, we can do it same way. Select the block in question, press action, and press the snapshot bypass switch to disable snapshot control of that block's bypass date. On HX Stomp, very similar. From Edit View, select a processing block, press Action, press Page Over, and set Knob 3, Snapshot Bypass, to Off to disable snapshot control of that block's bypass date. And in Helix Native HX Edit, we would right-click on a processing block and uncheck Snapshot Bypass. Alternatively, right-click the Bypass button to uncheck Snapshot Bypass. So that's what I was showing you today. So if that's a feature that would work for you, you now know how to do it effortlessly, very simply. So we've got this set up. Now, here's another question I get. Let's say that we had this preset, we have our four snapshots set up, and I just want to come in and add a delay to my lead snapshot only. So I come over to lead, and I choose this spot here where I want my delay, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put a stereo transistor tape and there we have it, great, wonderful. Now we go back and we switch to our snapshot one, which is our clean sound, which we didn't want delay on, and look at this. Now we have the delay turned on there, we have the delay turned on on snapshot two, snapshot three, and snapshot four. So another question I received, actually just yesterday or the day before, even before I put the video out was, how can I have it so that if I add this block, I don't have to go through each snapshot and turn it off? So, you know, a lot of folks would do this. They'd be here on the snapshot in question. They would add the block they wanted on. Then they'd have to go through every one, click it, turn it off, put it in this state, and they go, okay, there we go. Now, if we had eight snapshots, that's just a pain. The workflow really suffers, and it takes us a long time, especially if we were on stage and we had to add one of these blocks, and all of a sudden, it's on all of our snapshots. Maybe we forget that it is engaged, and we go to a clean sound. All of a sudden, we have a tone that wasn't supposed to have delay on it in this case, and it does. What a pain that would be. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this again, just to start from scratch. So here's what I would do. I come over to my lead, let's say, because this is where I want my delay on. We don't really even need to go to that snapshot though. And I can come here and again, I'll just pick my stereo transistor tape. Now, we know that, just from what we talked about, that that's now engaged on all the snapshots we don't want it on. Here's what I do. I'm going to come down to my snapshot bypass we just talked about, disengage that. Now I'm gonna turn it off. Now, watch what happens. It's now disengaged on every snapshot, just like that. So instead of all these mouse clicks or keyboard strokes, we now have it disengaged on all. We go back to our lead, we re-engage snapshot bypass, the little check mark is there, and we just re-engage it on that particular snapshot. Now you'll notice on my other snapshots, it is bypassed, but it is engaged on my lead snapshot, which is exactly what I want. So again, let me just do that and show you how quick and easy this is. Starting from scratch, I come in here to my empty block, I grab this, I put transistor tape on, I simply disengage snapshot bypass, turn this off, engage snapshot bypass, and turn it back on. And that quickly now, I have it disengaged on all of those other snapshots, except the one that I wanted. Now, obviously, if there was another snapshot you wanted on like Overdrive, you'd have to come over here and re-engage it. That's fine. But I hope that that answers the question that I do get a lot. So there's a feature that I really didn't know that so many folks were unaware of, and it can be a real 
great addition to speed up our workflow and get the Helix behaving in the manner that we want. All right, so I hope that that was useful for some folks. Again, like I said before, I was always aware of this feature, but it wasn't one that I ever really thought of doing a video about, but recently I've been getting so many questions about it, I thought it's about time. And I really hope that this can be a helpful tip for anybody out there to speed up their workflow or just to get their Helix doing exactly what they want it to do. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please share this with anybody who you think would get use out of watching it because I think this could really help a lot of folks to get more out of their Helix. Also, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. And I will be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so, so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.